Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Today, we are going to discuss most confusing topic of organic chemistry, functional groups. Let's start with basics. Organic compounds consist of two main parts, the alkyl radical and the functional group. This organic compound contains OH's functional group and the remaining part is known as alkyl radical. Alkyl radicals are derivatives of alkanes. They are formed by the removal of one of the hydrogen atoms of an alkane. Both alkyl radical and functional group combine to form organic compound. Alkyl radicals are represented by a letter R and determine the physical properties of organic compounds. Functional groups are superheroes of organic compounds and are responsible for chemical properties of an organic compound. I have some examples for you. Ethanol is a type of alcohol that is commonly found in alcoholic beverages. One interesting property of ethanol, it can dissolve in water. This is because the hydroxyl group in ethanol forms hydrogen bonding with water molecules. You might be surprised to know that vinegar belongs to class of compounds known as carboxylic acids, contains special group of atoms called carboxylic group which gives it its unique acidic nature. This property differentiates carboxylic acids from other organic compounds. Strawberries have ethyl butyrate, which contributes to their sweet fragrance. Belongs to class of compounds, known as esters. Esters contains, ester group is their functional group, because it gives the characteristics properties to esters. And differentiate it from other organic compounds. OH group is responsible for properties in alcohols, known as functional group in alcohols. Carboxylic group is a functional group because it is responsible for giving carboxylic acids its sour taste and its ability to react with other substances. So, functional groups are specific groups of atoms that give organic compounds their unique properties and reactivity. Now, we are going to discuss functional groups of three major classes of organic compounds. Let's start with alkanes. These are the simplest hydrocarbons, consisting of only single bonds between carbon atoms. The functional group for alkanes is simply the carbon-carbon single bond. Now, let's move on to alkenes. These hydrocarbons have at least one carbon-carbon double bond. The functional group for alkenes is that double bond. Lastly, we have alkynes. These hydrocarbons contain at least one carbon-carbon triple bond. The functional group for alkynes is the triple bond. Alkanes are relatively unreactive due to their single bonds, while alkenes and alkynes are more reactive because of their double and triple bonds. For example, alkenes and alkynes give oxidation reactions, while alkanes do not give this reaction because single bonds between carbon atoms making them highly stable. Let me describe some functional groups. All have a common structural unit known as carbonyl group. Different structures attached on both sides of the carbonyl group determines the nature of functional group. If hydrogen is connected on one side of the carbonyl group and other side is bonded with alkyl radical, then the compounds are known as aldehydes. If carbonyl group is present in the middle position and both sides of the carbonyl group are connected with alkyl groups, then the compounds are known as ketones. When the OH group is connected with carbonyl group, the compounds are known as carboxylic acids. When OR group is connected with carbonyl group, the compounds are known as esters. Let me define functional group. An atom or group of atoms or presence of double or triple bond, which determines the characteristic properties of an organic compound known as the functional group. They determine how the compound will react with other substances and play a crucial role in its overall function. Each class of organic compounds have a specific functional group which differentiates it from other organic compounds. I hope this video helped you. If you find it interesting don't forget to like it and subscribe for more educational content like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.